We just got word. JPL Deep Space Net is picking up six unidentified objects heading towards Earth at near relativistic speeds. It looks like they're going to try and enter our orbit. Do we know where they're from? It's unclear. We started tracking them in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune. Thanks. What is this, Sandra? The ion cannon's been engaged, sir. On whose authority? Director Boyle. Here it is, sir, on Sat 3. Fifteen thirty seven Eastern Standard Time, thirty nine alien spacecraft crashed into red zones on every continent. While the source and purpose of these aircraft remains unknown, there's no mystery about their intentions. Commander, what I'm about to tell you is highly classified information. In 2028, GDI confiscated a very sophisticated data matrix from Nod. It's clearly not of this Earth. They call it the Tacitus. We've been decrypting it here at InOps. And all we know for certain is that the data contained a warning about a future alien invasion. The connection between the liquid Tiberium explosion and this invasion seems, well, beyond coincidence. Whatever the connection, it's not just blue zones bearing the brunt. Several prominent yellow zones are also under attack, and Nod's been unable to mount a defense. Which puts the burden squarely on GDI. I'm not going to mince words, Commander. The situation is extremely dire, but you're the best we've got. So I'm giving you the worst mission on the board, Germany. Kersey will show you what you're up against. I still can't believe this is actually happening. All right, Commander. I don't know how much you've heard about New Eden. It was the first blue zone to be reclaimed from a yellow zone. Since then, it has become a secret research hub for GDI, particularly in Munich, where our future tech lab was compiling a full analysis of the invaders' operations. Unfortunately, Munich is already under assault and the FT lab's been destroyed. Several engineers were able to escape and are in a convoy heading for Salzburg, just outside the zone border as we speak. Commander, that convoy must reach Salzburg safely. Nice work, Commander. Looks like these things aren't invincible after all. Of course, I'd feel a lot better about our victory if I had any idea what their agenda was beyond just wreaking havoc. But one benefit of that uncertainty is it seems to have driven Director Boyle into hiding. Our secured bunker in Reykjavik. And that's where you're supposed to be too, General. 
not a chance in hell. We're going to use this time wisely, make some moves without being second guessed. And you're the key here, Commander. I need you to turn the tide against these invaders, build up some momentum, just like you did against Nod. Anyone else I'd worry about putting too much on their shoulders, but you, you seem to want that responsibility. We don't have much time. The invaders have spread out from Munich into several other cities in the region. Kirsi will bring you up to speed.